I think in this season, she takes on these challenges with a certain glee. And I feel like, uh, I feel like she's retaining her chaos, but without the self-destructive tendencies. Hello, welcome to Supernova TV. I'm Chris and I'm here with Ruth Negger. How are you? Very well, thank That's you. That's good. You've been in Texas, you've been in New Orleans. No, we were in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, oh, yes, right. Yes, which was a sort of stand-in for Texas. Right. Um, and New Orleans for two years and now Melbourne. Yeah. That's exciting. What, what's the difference, highs and lows of those uh, different cities? Uh, well, I mean, New Orleans is very different to here just in terms of like weather, it's completely different. But um, uh, it was, uh, first of all, getting over the jet lag getting here. Yeah. Um, um, but uh, I think uh, Australia has like, afforded us really good sort of... Um, uh, basically, we have the we have desert and also we have the big cities. So basically... And we've also transformed some of it into Ireland, which, oh, believe fantastic. it or not, worked really well. <laughs> you, you would know. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so we've had the best of both worlds here, really. Now, you, you're um, amazing at, uh, at accents. I was going to ask, um, what's your way of getting into Tulip's voice? But also, um, do you keep tabs on Joe's... Uh, Irish accent. Is that, is that <laughs> My way of getting into shoot. I think it takes me a while, um, but I think uh, I think sense memory helps, and just sort of the rhythm of the way she talks and the way the writers write for her, it just kind of sort of um, clicks something in my memory that I just can get back into. Well, I hope anyway. Like. Um, with Joe, Joe doesn't need my help. He's <laughs> yeah. grand. He'll like say, he'll like ask me for the odd word and stuff. Um, but he's but he's created he's created a kind of an accent that is um, peculiar to Cassidy because you know he grew up in Ireland in the in the 1910s and then he moved to America so it's 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 different from a modern Irish accent in that sense. I think in your next film is it a Harlem, New York accent? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What what draws you to? to that. <laughs> accents? Yeah, just... Oh, well, it's to do with the part first. I mean, I don't, you know, ring up and say what accents yeah, and then I'll do true. it. Um, yeah. Well, that's not a bad idea. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I think I have a natural ear just from growing up in many different places and um, I just, in, I just enjoy accents. I enjoy, I enjoy people's voices and, 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 and what that reveals about people and the personality and I sometimes think it can be a way into a character and um, I, just en I just enjoy the challenge. What was it like, I know it was a, a little while ago, but being uh, name checked by Meryl Streep in that <laughs> Amazing. Oscar speech? <laughs> I don't know, that's always a little thing when I'm down. Yeah. I'm jobless, I'll go, I'll remember that moment. Um, that was, I mean, I wasn't expecting that. Most definitely, and it was. I just got quite shy, and I found okay. I'll process this later, and <laughs> I was just beaming. That's great. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know who, I didn't know that she knew <laughs> who I was or anything. <laughs> um, but that was a huge privilege. Uh, I think Tulip's arc in uh, in the last season um, was really uh, exciting, getting her to to come to grips with the the saint and sort of. She kind of take him on and, and all that kind of thing. Um, where, without spoilers, is uh, is Tulip going in this in this season, uh, emotionally and? Well, I think she's got her groove back, and I think she, uh, you know, she's always thirsting for a challenge. And I think I think in this season she takes on these challenges with a certain glee, and I feel like uh, I feel like. She's retaining her chaos, but without the self-destructive tendencies. And I think that's where uh, people, not just Tulip, get creative. What are you, what are you most excited for um, people to see in this uh, next season? I'm really excited to see, uh, for our fans to see aspects of the comic book that we've woven into it. I think they'll be very excited. That's great. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you. Thanks.